Jesus prophesied to these things. Number one, that Jesus is the suffering servant. Jesus is the suffering servant. Isaiah chapter 53, Isaiah prophesied that the Messiah would be a man of sorrows who was acquainted with grief. Okay? That he literally came to suffer as a man, and he did this for you and for me to secure our salvation. Even Jesus himself in Matthew 20, he said that, he, that the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve. And to give his life a ransom for the many. So Jesus came to serve us by laying down his life for us. This is my model for us to understand. That God would send his son. That God would come in the form of Jesus. And literally come to serve and lay his life down for us. It says here, Jesus' disciples, by the way, should have known this, by the way. Before I go on. In, in Matthew 16, remember Jesus told his disciples... He said that I must go to Jerusalem, suffer many things from the hands of the chief priests and the rulers, and be crucified and die and rise again on the third day. And when Peter heard that, he said, far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. You see, for Peter, he said, no, the Messiah isn't going to come and suffer and die. No way. The Messiah is going to come again and establish an earthly kingdom and be a military ruler. And so he didn't understand. So Jesus says, get behind me, Satan, for you're not mindful of the things of God, but the things of man. Your mind is set on your own plan, on the ways of man. But the things of God are beyond what man can imagine. 